Hey Team Chef Eric here, hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to give you the keys to the castle. We're gonna talk about methods, not recipes. We're doing chicken wings. We could do a billion different recipes, but it's about the method. Today we're going direct to crisp up that skin. Let's get them. So again, this is a really simple recipe, but it's about the, about the method today. About the, about the method. Um, you know, when, when going very simple, you wanna use high quality ingredients. Today we're gonna to start with a little bit of Lane's barbecue. Uh, sweet lemon pepper and just go go hard so we've got a little saltiness we got a little a little sweetness and we've got that lemon pepper uh, I want to sweeten it up just a little bit and go with some granulated honey and that's going to provide some caramelization for us as well uh, you know, it's funny when you look at the ingredients of a lot of these seasonings there's 500 different ingredients uh, Lane's barbecue granulated honey. Ingredients, granulated honey. It's a beautiful thing. So just coat those wings evenly. Um, we're gonna put these presentation side down first. This to me is presentation side down. We're gonna get that caramelization, render out some of that fat under the skin. I'm leaving the wing tip on there and, and uh, the drumette and the wingette. If you want to separate those, just buy them already off or take your knife and slice it off. Um, but when it's all together like this, I like to call this the king wing. Coals are looking good. Let's agitate them so that everybody's getting activated. And I'm going to bank all these coals to the back as I rotate them. All right. One of the cool things about the Kettle Joe, the Big Joe deflector shield sits right on top here and we're able to have two zone cooking, okay? So this is a 22 inch diameter, just like any Weber kettle, but your Kamada Joe classic accessories sit right on top of the firebox and the Big Joe deflector shield sit right on there. So if you have a Kamada Joe and you get the Kettle Joe, you're able to use all your toys from the other grills on this one, kind of fun. Listen, if you're still deep frying chicken wings, you're missing the boat. Like this is so much fun. Uh, and I like to interact with the flame. I like to interact with the charcoal. I like to render out that skin and moving it from one side to the other so they get all that beautiful caramelization and crispiness and rendered out. It just sings my song, okay? So now we're gonna start these presentation side down like we talked about on the direct side of the grill. And then we're gonna graduate them over to indirect. But just in case your fire got a little out of control or you added too much charcoal, you've always got that safety zone of the two zone cooking. Uh, I'm not putting smoke on these wings. I find that when you add wood smoke to wings, it kind of makes the skin a little rubbery. All right, so what I want to do is smoke with the drippings of the wings. So those wings are going to render out. The drippings are going to hit the natural lump charcoal. That smoke is then going to rise. So we're seasoning these wings with their own drippings and smoke coming from them. So it's going to be a beautiful thing. Let's close the dome and we're going to watch this temperature rise to 300 Fahrenheit. We're coming back from a break. It's been 15 minutes. And remember, this is gonna be our hottest zone. We banked all the coals to the back, so we're gonna have to rotate these here and push those back. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what I mean. Not much caramelization there. Great caramelization starting here, okay? So we're gonna start pulling these and rotating. Forget set it and forget it, right? This is this is really jumping on, cooking by feeling, and being a part of the process. And I'm already starting to smell that rendering fat that's giving us that nice blue chicken smoke. See you in another 15 minutes. Check the caramelization. Stunning. That's what I like to see. So now we're gonna flip all of these. Oh yeah, I mean look at that. So now we're gonna just crisp up the skin on the bottom side before moving over here. Okay, so what people don't get about wings is you need to cook them a little longer than say a chicken breast. So a minimum internal temperature is 165. Everybody knows that, but you don't get a tender wing until about 170. And that's when the red disappears from the joints and it's just fall apart delicious. So we're gonna have a beautiful combination of fall apart wing with crispy skin off the grill. And at any time, if I feel like I'm getting a little aggressive or it's getting out of hand, I can close the draft door a little bit 
and stifle the oxygen, or we could just simply move over here to the indirect side and let them come up slowly, and then in the end, flip them over and blast sear it. Again, you being a part of the program here and getting involved with it is half the fun and half the deliciousness. Maybe I shouldn't say half the fun, because it's like it sounds like it's half of the fun and half of the deliciousness as something else, but really what I mean to say is like two times, but it's easier. Yeah, you can say that. I don't know, I'm confused. <laughs> All right. Uh, and if I felt like I was getting a little out of control, boom, we got this safety zone over here. It's like a swimming pool, right? We're, we're in the deep end here. And when, a, when we start getting a little worried, we kick over here to the shallow end and just chill out. Uh, but I want to keep it over here just a little bit to get some caramelization on the bottom side of these wings. These are looking stunning. I'm going to shut this, give it about 5-10 minutes, and then we'll start graduating on to the indirect side. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Great caramelization. We're getting even a more roasted and pronounced flavor uh, on top. I'm liking the caramelization on the bottom. Let's start moving it on over. And you know, I want to make a point too. Look at this one. You know, some people might look at that and say, oh my gosh, I ruined it, it's burnt. That is mine. That is all me all day long. If it's a little aggressive, don't cook it that much, but I'm telling you right now, that's the star of the show, okay? So we're gonna kick this on over. Today is about methods. So don't worry about, you know, chef said do this, chef said do that. Let me tell you something. Chef is the most overused word in our industry, okay? Just get in there and be your own person on the grill and have fun with it. This is methods. This is the keys to the castle right here, okay? You can even do the stack method at this point if you want to treat it like a roast, all right? Whoa, hey, easy there, guy. So I do like to, to use this stack method. You might have seen it in the peri-peri skewers that we did the other day. Whenever I'm doing chicken or bone-in things, it's just a different heat signature, and it radiates, um, you know, and you can, you can rotate this, but it allows smaller things to come to temperature at the same time. So what I don't want to do is have the smaller ones done before the bigger ones and some are dried out, some are perfect. Stack it, the stack method allows you to treat this like one larger roast and everything comes off falling apart uh, with that crispy skin. If we want to crisp it back up, we leave the lid up for just a minute. Uh, if you're doing this on your classic two or your classic one or your Big Joe or your ceramic style grill, uh, again, half indirect, half direct. Uh, we could have done this completely indirect with the slow roller, uh, but again, I like the texture of the skin direct, but to finish indirect. So this is a great method. Do whatever sauce or rub or marinade you want to. It does not matter. If you cook it this way, you're going to find fantastic results. So now we're going to shut this. Again, we're going to let this come to 170, 175 before we take it off because 165 is going to give you a chewy wing. So 170, let it carry over to 175. Beauty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look how they just do that thing in the sun, you know? It almost makes me want to get dry baste it and squeeze a little more seasoning on there, but we are... We're there, okay? Uh, again, if we wanted to uh, crisp it up again, if, if for some reason there was too much moisture here, we could blast sear it and crisp it up last second. But I'm loving what I'm seeing. And the beauty of doing wings like this too is no sauce necessary. Uh, if I were gonna put sauce on this, it would negate the whole crisping up the skin, right? I never understood why people would do that. If you like crispy skin, don't sauce it, yeah? Uh, you could have a dipping sauce if you like. So if you're really into buffalo sauce or blue cheese or anything like that, have it on the side, let people enjoy that crispiness, and then let them dunk last second to get best of both worlds. Let's bring it on over the table and give it a try. I'd say the most difficult part about this entire method, yeah, I tried to say recipe, but it's a method, is not getting greedy. You gotta let them cool off a little bit or, uh, or your tongue is toast. Look at this. Dude. All right, uh, put in the comment section down below, are you a drumette or a wingette person? Luckily for me, I like the wingette better and my wife likes the drumette, so match made in heaven, okay? Um, look at this, you could just pull that out there and 
pull that out there. And now I've got a boneless bite here with a little uh, natural made handle. There we go. Look at that, that is stunning. Nathan. Oh. Crispy skin, succulent meat, that's a clean bite. These are the building blocks. This is the, the fundamentals of doing perfect grilled chicken wings. The sky's the limit on flavors or sauces or anything like that. So uh, play around with it, get your temperature, get your direct, get your indirect, keep it simple, have fun. Folks, for more recipes, tips, techniques, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us, follow us, leave comments from our backyard to yours. Cheers and happy grilling.